Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and please leave me a comment or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Also, I do hope you consider subscribing. This is a little recap of part one. You see I made these Christmas present nails with the wrapping paper and used some chrome uh, powder to make the ribbons um, that are wrapped around the packages. So just a quick uh, showing of what I'm using. Um, this is just the backing of the forms that you get and I put some tape, wrapped it around my little glass palette, put some tape on it both to be able to hold it up to show you what I'm doing. Also if you need one hand, if you only have one hand it helps so that the paper doesn't you know get in your way and move around or whatever so that's good for that and I'm using this 3D carving gel uh, by Shea I believe it is C-H-E it could be Chi not sure also working with these carving gels I noticed it's really handy to get a lint free wipe and put a little alcohol on it um, it'll dry out so you have to keep reapplying alcohol if you're not going to use it for a while but it helps to clean off your silicone tools in your brush so I'm going to start off making just one I'm just going to show you one of the um, pieces of the bow the um, uh, let's call it a petal because it kind of looks like a flower but uh, this is the easiest way and I'm using a base coat as my slip um, but there will be for the other the curly ribbons um, make sure you listen to my advice on using um, what to use for a slip it's very important <laughs> believe me I learned the hard way so basically I just shape it the way I want it uh, if you you know I did some pointy uh, these are just going to be round like little flower petals and uh, I'm going to leave this sitting for a while and then move on to making the little curly ribbons and then um, off camera I'll make more of these and some of the green ones and I'm using the lavender or purple whatever you want to call this color and the green because the bows um, are going to have purple chrome and then green chrome so I just kind of wanted a background that wasn't too dark so it would match better. So now I'm going to use the same color um, because the curly ribbon is going to be uh, the same color as the bow. And for this I just want to make sure I'm using, I have gloves on to protect my hands. but So I'm rolling this carving gel with using my fingers but please don't do this with your bare skin. It's not good. You'll get this all over you. It's sticky. It's you know it's just not good because it could cause an allergy for you so anyway just to let you know um, as I'm trying to get this on the toothpick I had some difficulties so <laughs> took me a little bit uh, I know there's a quicker way but it kept sticking to my gloves um, so I did get it on here and just to let you know as a tip do not use base coat when you're doing this if you're going to use a toothpick um, if you're you know it it stuck on the toothpick my first try and I couldn't get it off and it broke but I didn't use anything actually you can use alcohol as a slip but I really didn't need anything so um, but it worked a lot better and I was able to get it off a lot easier and it didn't break so I was pretty happy
After curing this, it's now ready for me to take off the toothpick. So I'm just going to loosen it up. You might have to wiggle it a little bit or maybe move parts of it, but um, it's it was thick enough, so I had pretty good luck. And it came right off and it was ready for me to do the chrome. I made a huge mess with the chrome and uh, trying to get it in all the little areas uh, and I kept dropping it and that's, that wasn't the only time there were uh, several times I dropped it through this whole process I could have held on to it with a pair of tweezers but I felt like the pressure from rubbing the chrome in would have broken it um, because it the ends are quite fragile so um, this worked I finally got it uh, it got easier as I went along <laughs> and now I'm trying to brush it off and it keeps bouncing all over the place yeah this was uh this was intense but I did it so <laughs> proud moment Here's all my little pieces. I did five of the green ones. I made them pointy and uh, only four of the purple and then three little curly pieces but I only end up using two and I'm using my Model 1's gem glue. Um, and so in the middle here I'm just going to scratch, give it a scratch so that it just helps the glue adhere a little bit better. Uh, so when I removed the little petals or pieces of the bow from the the form backing there was a little bit of residue that cured with it so I just gave it a little quick buffing around the edges and it worked out fine and they came out pretty smooth so you uh, be expecting that <laughs> This part was a little tricky. Not only did I keep dropping that as well, I might have only dropped it once or twice, I'm, I can't remember, um, but I wanted it to stand up a little bit. I want it to be raised up. So what I did, it wouldn't stay on its own with the gem glue. So I took this toothpick here, put it underneath, and then flash cured it, holding it all together, which was a little bit, you know strenuous but it was only for about 10 seconds and then I cured it the rest of the way and it worked out fine
I'm adding, before I add the other two petals, I'm putting the, um, the curly ribbon parts under, or I'm putting them on first so that they look like they're kind of under the bows. So you'll see what I mean. Um, I'm sure you get it already. Uh, it just helped with the effect because I didn't want the ends to stick out where the bow is. I was actually pleased with how this turned out so far. So uh, now it's time for me to put some top coat on here, cure it, and then get the chrome on. Same process on the other one. Uh, and then I'm gonna seal the chrome with another top coat. These are all done, looking pretty cute. Now it's time to add just a couple of gems. I didn't go overboard with the bling on these. I figured they were busy enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's they're just so cute. There they are. I, 
I just I love them it, you know making your own bows and ribbons however you want to was a lot of fun I am I didn't look for any of these curly little things I just already planned on making my own it just adds a more personal touch I think I hope everybody has great holiday and a safe holiday um, thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah don't forget to leave a comment